Welcome back to Life Force Unleashed. My name is Dennis, and today I've got a handy dandy tip for all of you out there. If you travel with one of these bad boys on board, eventually you're probably more than likely you're going to experience this problem sooner or later. And what I'm talking about is, is that when you go to turn on your propane tank and nothing comes out, what do you do? How do you fix it? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how you can fix a no flow or a low flow propane tank. So, what happens is, is that when you're traveling with a propane tank, going up and down different elevations can cause a lot of back pressure inside the tank. So when you go to turn your tank on, you'll end up like you hear right now, you hear nothing. I can turn the tank on and absolutely no gas is coming out of it at all. And so what happens is, is that causes that valve inside to seize up because there's too much pressure trying to get out. All right, let me show you how to fix a no flow or a low pressure propane tank. It's a really easy fix and it's not going to take very long to get you back up and running again. All you have to do is follow these little tips. Now remember, the important thing to note is, is that when you bring your propane tank outside to fix this problem, you have to make sure that you have a hose attached to it in order to let the pressure out. So if you fix the tank and you have the hose off of it, you're gonna have no idea that you did it because with the hose off, absolutely nothing will come out. So you have to have a hose hooked up to it. So after you have a propane hose hooked up to your tank, to fix this problem, all you need to do is, is if you look right in there. You see that little set screw right there? That is a pressure release valve. And that's what's gonna fix the problem that you're currently experiencing with low flow or no flow pressure coming out of your propane tank. And the only tool you're gonna need to fix this problem is a flathead screwdriver. Let me show you what to do with it. So you're gonna wanna make sure your propane tank is turned off. And then in here, right in here, there's a little set screw. It's a flathead set screw. All you have to do to fix a problem with low flow or no flow is open that screw really slow till you start to hear pressure come out of there, just like that. When you do that, make sure you don't take the set screw all the way out. Just turn it a little bit, just let the pressure out. And bleed the pressure off of there for like 10 to 15 seconds. And then after that's all done, go ahead, tighten that set screw back up, just like that. Make sure it's good and tightened. Now when I turn on the tank, now you can hear the propane coming out of the hose. Just that easy to fix a low flow or no flow problem with your propane tank. Uh, it's really simple. It's really easy to do. Make sure when you're doing it, you're not smoking by it. <laughs> and take precautions so that way nothing goes boom. But other than that, it is a super simple fix. So the next time your propane tank's not working, go ahead and try to unscrew that set screw a little bit. Remember, don't take it all the way out. Just turn it back to the gas starts to come out. So the next time you have a problem with your propane tank, give that a try. I'm pretty sure that's going to fix all the problems that you currently have. Well, I hope that little tip helps. If you have any other tips, please leave them down in the comments comment section so that way I don't know the comment section is kind of like a Wikipedia so if people are having problems that's a great place for them to go to hopefully find resolutions or a fix to those problems so if you have other information or other advice don't be afraid go ahead leave it down below in the comment section who knows you might be helping somebody else out and that's what we're all here for anyway that's my little tip for you all today on how to maintain your propane tank uh, little Jackson and I are doing really well. I'm doing really well. We're just, uh, we've been in the middle of traveling, so we're just trying to get resituated with everything. So we got a lot more videos that are going to be coming out, and I've got a lot more tips that are going to be coming out as well. So stay tuned for that. Little Jax, he's still got his fishy, fishy, fishy with him. <laughs> you gonna come over and say hi, Jax? Come on over here. Come on over here, buddy. Yeah, hi, buddy. Oh, yeah, shake it off. Yeah. <laughs> Little Jackson still got his fishy fishy. Go get your fishy fishy. What a crazy toy to find out in the middle of the forest. Wow. Oh, where well, we're currently at right now, this place is an absolutely gorgeous place. I mean, this is an absolutely incredible. And it's too soon to move down to Quartzsite because, well, it's way too hot down there right now. Uh, the temperature is looking at it for the extended forecast are in the hundreds for uh, several days yet to come. So not the time to go to Quartzsite yet. But just to show you around camp a little bit, we got everything set up. We got the awning deployed. My bicycle, love that bicycle. Little Jack's out there running around. Got my water catchment system all in place. Yep, 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 yep. So camp is looking really, really good. And oh my gosh, well, I'll tell you, it's been really nice out here. We have got a lot of firewood and we've been having some campfires. Hopefully I'll get a chance to share some of that with y'all just an absolutely beautiful area that we're in you know right now we're just pre-staging for quartzite so as soon as the temperatures go down there we're going to be on our way there got the solar panels sitting out oh yeah and of course i got the solar on the roof well i'll tell you what we've been pulling in a massive amount of solar absolutely been no problem getting any solar here and i think the monsoons are over for now so i'm pretty happy about that although i did enjoy catching the rain i mean that really came in handy but uh Oh, we got a lot of rain this year and I'm okay with it being done. <laughs> yeah, I've been having a great time out here. Uh, 
is so nice out here. I love it. I just love it. What a beautiful area this place is. But I can't wait till I get down to Quartzsite. I'm really looking forward to that. And I don't know if you all remember, I told you in uh, like one or two videos ago, we're going to be doing a giveaway. Well, I think the very next video, we're going to actually be doing a giveaway. And what we're going to be giving away is this. I'm going to do another video on this Red Camp wood cook stove. And we're going to be giving one of those away. So there's going to be a lucky viewer out there. You have to be subscribed to the channel in ordinary to be eligible for the giveaway. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel because the very next video is going to be about the wood cook stove and we're going to give one of those bad boys away. All right, well, until Little Jackson, I see you all again. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. Later.